Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk a little bit more about the uh, AK-47 today. Uh, and specifically, I wanted to talk about the belt buckle zero, okay? Um, and the idea here is that at 100 yards, we're going to zero in, okay, regardless of where, we, where we're using red dot or iron sights, we're going to zero in so that point of aim is here, point of impact is up here in the high chest, okay? So we're, um, you, know, you know, we're aiming at the belt buckle. Uh, to get hit on the high chest, and the idea here is that the you know the um, AK-47 round you know it's going a little bit slower than the 5.56 round that a lot of us are used to, and uh, we want to have the ability to shoot all the way out to 300 yards without having to adjust for holdovers. Okay, so what's going to happen is at 100 yards we're, we're aiming here, we're hitting up here, okay, and then from that point as we as, as we shoot out towards 300 yards the bullet's going to start dropping and at 300 yards it'll come back down to the belt level okay so uh, there's no adjustment needed um, you know from from zero distance all the way out to 300 yards and I think that that's a nice option to have um, and uh, you know it, it's it's a similar type of shooting uh, to what a lot of us are used to with the uh, uh, you know with the AR-15 shooting a 5.56 caliber because with the AR-15 you know, we, you know, if you're using a 5.56, you, if you zero at 50 yards, you have a second zero at 200 yards. Um, you know, what that means is that, you know, you put the red dot here, you know, um, and from, from zero distance all the way out to 250 yards, you're going to be either five inches high or five inches low. So, so you really don't have to adjust. And at 300 yards, basically, you're about, you'll be about 10 inches low. Uh, so there's no adjustment, um, you know, with an AR-15. Uh, shooting all the way out to um, uh, to 300 yards if you're shooting at a man-sized target. Okay, uh, with the AK-47, um, the zero that a lot of people will typically use, um, you know, they'll either you know a lot of people will just use the same 50-yard um, zero, in which case you get a second zero at 150 yards, and it starts dropping pretty fast after that. Uh, or they'll use a 100-yard zero. Um, you know, and, and again, after that, you have to start figuring out, okay, at 200 yards, what do I have to do? How high do I have to aim over the head uh, in order to be able to hit the target? So there's, there's thinking involved, there's calculations. Um, so the idea with the 300-yard zero is, you know, from, from a zero distance all, all the way out to 300 yards, you just aim at the belt buckle, and you'll hit somewhere in between here. So there's no, there's no adjustment involved. Um, and that's that's very simple, similar to the mentality, as I said, that a lot of us are are, are used to. Okay, um, so that's the reason why I like it. Now, um, when I typically shoot, um, you know, 100 to 150 yards, I'm usually shooting at a target about this size, okay, 11 by 8 paper, or I'm shooting a 12 inch plate. Uh, because this is a relatively small target, I I, I have to basically use. Um, either a 100 yard zero or, or, or the 50 yard zero. I typically use the 50 yard zero. With the 50 yard zero, I'll aim at the bottom of the paper and I'll usually hit at the top of the paper. Uh, and then, you know, back at a, you know, at 150 yards, it'll usually drop back down. So I'm able to stay on the paper from zero distance, um, you know, all the way out to 150 yards. Okay, so, so, this, so the 50 yard zero does work really well for me, uh, you know, for the type of shooting that I typically do. Uh, but if I was expecting to start shooting at longer distances, right, at, at, at 300 yards plus, uh, then I would consider this, this, this belt buck, buckle zero. Um, and I, for example, with those, you know, what I would do is like I'd use those barrels over there. So those barrels are kind of like, you know, man sized. Um, and I would uh, zero in at the bottom of the barrel uh, with the intention of hitting, you know, at the top of the barrel. Okay. Um, so I think this is a uh, a good option for you guys to have in your toolbox. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean that 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 you should use it, right? Because I don't use it, uh, but I'm aware of it. Um, and if my environment ever changes where I'm shooting further distances with an AK-47, you know, I, I might switch over to that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep the 50 yard zero, um, which which works pretty good for me. Um, so uh, if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys like this uh, video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.